Are you still using the automatic connection from the KNX integration in Home Assistant? Well then it's definitely time to change and I will show you in this video how you can do that and why you should do that. And with that, hi and welcome back on my YouTube channel to this new video. Now as mentioned in the beginning, the automatic connection is fully sufficient if you just started using Home Assistant. However, I would definitely change that as soon as I can. That's not only because of the documentation, but also for example if you have multiple lines or you want to use KNX Secure. Well then you definitely have to set it up manually and we will see how to do that. First of all what we want to do is I go to settings, devices and services and into my KNX integration. As you can see in the moment we are using an automatic connection type and if I click here on one device we can see that currently it is using my Gira X1 with the individual address 505252. And this is definitely something that I want to change. Why? Well, therefore, let us take a look into the EDS. So, as you can see here in my KNX installation, I have multiple lines. So in here we have two twisted pair lines, both connected via KNX IP, both support secure, however, it's currently disabled. And then in those two lines we have yeah, multiple devices and in the first line we also have devices that have KNX interfaces. So for example the Gira S1 has tunneling interfaces, also get the Gira X1 which doesn't show up in the EDS and also the IP routers itself, they also have tunneling interfaces that we can use. Now as you can see, as I have two KNX twisted pair lines, I have also KNX IP routers that have, when I right click on them, a filter table and in this filter table we can see all the addresses that the routers or the line couplers the same applies to them let through so what that means is that if there is a function in this line now let's say a switching function or for example also my weather station and this group address is not within this filter table well then any device that sits here don't get the message now if you program those devices in the EDS, so you connect those devices in the EDS with the group addresses, these filter table will be generated automatically. However, the EDS doesn't know which group addresses Home Assistant needs. And that's a big problem if you have those filter tables in between, because then the EDS can't generate the filter tables for them. And so therefore this is something that we definitely want to change. How can we do that? Well, that's pretty straightforward. We simply first of all take a look at which interface we want to use. Now here in my case, I now simply want to use the tunneling interface of my KNX IP router. Let's say the address 11248. Now if I click on it, we can see that first of all I can give it a name here on the right hand side, which I will set to Home Assistant. This now has the benefit that when I open up the diagnostics, so let us take a look at how it looks currently, and in here, for example, I now send a telegram with Home Assistant at the moment being set on automatic. So for example, I turn on the living room spots. We can see that, yeah, basically here we have the telegram from Home Assistant, but the EDS doesn't know that this is Home Assistant. So this is the first thing that we change by using this specific tunneling address and renaming it here to Home Assistant. So now, when I take a look into the diagnostics, I will also see that Home Assistant is using this group address or is sending for at this group address. And then we are already in the correct window because here we have the associations. And we, what we can do with that is the following, that I can drag and drop those group addresses onto this tunneling interface that Home Assistant needs. So in my case, Home Assistant needs every group address, which isn't true for now, but Maybe we want to visualize everything and so therefore the easiest thing that you can do is do the following. Simply mark every main group here. So all the group addresses, drag and drop it into here and now we can see that Home Assistant is linked to all those group addresses here. So that's pretty easy and because of this association now the filter tables are yeah, corrected. So what that means is the following, if I take a look into the filter tables, that now in here we have more group addresses than before. Because now there are new group addresses that are needed inside of this line. 
By the way, if you want to know more about Knix and Home Assistant, then definitely check out my video courses over on Udemy. There I have just released my brand new video course, the Knix Home Assistant Primer, which is, yeah, the English version of my successful German video course. And in this video course, you will learn everything that you need to know to connect Knix to Home Assistant. We will take a look at all the entities that we can create with KNX in Home Assistant. We will see the difference between data secure, IP secure, even more, and also take a look at how we can use it within automations. So if you want to know more about it, then definitely check it out. I have linked you the video course down there below in the video description with a little coupon code so that you can also save a little bit of money. I would be more than happy to welcome you in one of my video courses. You would definitely support me by doing this. And what we can also see is when I take a look into the group addresses itself. So let's say, for example, in this first lighting group address, here with bus interfaces, we can see which devices are connected to it. So here in this case, you can see the IP router 752 secure with the interface home assistant. So with that, it's much more documented than before. And now another thing that I also want to do is due to this being a Knix IP router secure, this router also supports secure tunneling. So what I mean with that is that until now, the communication on the IP side is unencrypted. And this is what we can change by clicking here on secure commissioning activated. Now I have already scanned in the secure certificate. I enable the security for my tunneling interfaces and you can see now here also this shield symbol. And with that, we have both. We first of all have a secure connection between Home Assistant and my tunneling inter interface. So this connection is already encrypted. And then those group addresses that can also be encrypted on the twisted pair side will also be encrypted. So that's definitely, in my opinion, the way to go. And so therefore what I will do is I now click here on Home Assistant because now I need to tell Home Assistant how it can connect to this interface. So I click here, click on export interface information. Now I have to give it a password. Now I have to save this KNX keys file. And now before I go into Home Assistant, I first of all download all the devices that are required because there are, there are a lot of changes with the secure group addresses, etc. And now in Home Assistant, I have to do the following. I click here on configure. And here I can import this KNX keys file. Now I also have to enter the password here. Click on submit. And now you can see that due to the export of this specific KNX keys file, Home Assistant directly recognizes which connection it should use. And here we can first of all see that this is now a secure connection and it also supports 55 data secure group addresses. I hit submit. And with that, we now use secure tunneling. So pretty straightforward, isn't it? And so what this now means is when I clear everything here and start the diagnostics and now go ahead and turn the spots on and off, for example, now we can see that these telegrams really come from Home Assistant. So that's definitely what I would set up. However, there's also an additional option because Home Assistant not only supports yeah, the tunneling connection, but also KNX IP. So directly the KNX IP communication. Now, this is truly depending on your KNX installation, whether you want to use tunneling or you want to use KNX IP. In my case here, because I have two twisted pair lines that are connected with KNX IP, I would also consider using native KNX IP and not the tunneling connection. And then what I also want to do is that I also enable the secure on the second line, as this is also a secure KNX IP router. Now you can see that my backbone is also secure here symboled with this shield symbol. So that means that the connection or the communication between the KNX IP routers on the IP side and then also to Home Assistant will be encrypted. But what do I now need to do in order so that I can use Home Assistant for secure routing? Well, therefore, I simply have to go ahead into the catalog. And in here, I will search for a secure dummy device. And here, it's not important which device you use. However, it's important that it is using secure and that it's for the IP side. 
So I will simply lose the first one here and drag it onto my IP area. So you should then have, here in this case, I have it on the address 101 dummy secure. The first thing I'll do is that I'll go ahead and rename it to Home Assistant. Again, for documentation purpose. And then what you will see is that we don't have any group objects that we can connect to anything. But what we have is, if I open it up, a dummy interface. And inside of this dummy interface, you first of all see the same settings that we saw when we used tunneling. We can say whether we want to support secure group addresses or not. And then here we also have the associations window. And we basically need to do the same thing. We go into the group addresses and in here drag and drop all the group addresses in here that Home Assistant needs to communicate to. With that set up, what we also do is that we export the interface information and then download all the devices here. In the meantime, we can go ahead into Home Assistant and reconfigure my KNX integration. So go to Devices and Services, KNX, Configure. And then I import my new KNX keys file. So fortunately, the password didn't change. And now here you can see that now this address is 101. I click here on submit. However, what you just saw is that Home Assistant now wants to use tunneling, which obviously is false. So I go ahead, click on configure, configure my KNX interface. And now I go ahead and select routing. And here it's now important that you use the same address that the dummy device also has. So here I use 101. That's really important that you use the same physical address. Then hit submit. Now, okay, I can go ahead and import the file again. I actually think that that's not really necessary. Click on submit because I have imported it earlier. Click on finish. And now I go ahead and reload my integration. And now you can see integration was reloaded and now we are using secure routing. So what that means is that if I go ahead into the EDS, into the diagnostics and clear everything, we are connected via our network interface. So we see the KNX IP communication here. And for example, go ahead and yeah, turn on the living room spots. We can see that Home Assistant here is sending the telegram now from the address 101. And if I go a little bit further and right click here and also display security, what we should see is that here we can see the transport layer. So the communication on the KNX IP side, that is yeah, secure. However, the data inside is not secure. That's a difference between KNX IP secure and KNX data secure. However, if we now would, for example, take a look at it with Wireshark, we would see that the information is encrypted. But as soon as this telegram is being translated to twisted pair, the information isn't yeah, encrypted any longer on the twisted pair side. But on the IP side, we are secure. Yeah, and so that's basically how, in my opinion, you should now set up your KNX integration. So either via tunneling or via routing, but definitely yeah, in a way that it's documented in the EDS. And even better if you can use, for example, secure tunneling, like we saw earlier, or like here in this case, secure routing. So with that being said, again, if you want to know more about KNX and Home Assistant, then don't hesitate to check out my video courses over on Udemy. Link them down below with a little coupon code. Would be more than happy to welcome you in those courses. Now, if this video was helpful for you, then consider a like, subscribe to the channel to not miss any new videos. And with that, I would say, Bye-bye and I see you in a new video.